Hi Gemini, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this. Thank you God for blessing Gemini with a clear, concise message. All right, so we start the week with the Knight of Cups. Very nice. And then we have the High Priestess. What came out with the High Priestess was Judgment. All right. And then we have um, the Nine of Swords uh, as the outcome for the week. Okay, so it looks like there's a relationship here um, where it, it really doesn't, it hasn't fully developed or progressed into something solid because somebody is saying this is just about the sex okay um and then at the bottom of the deck we have the sexy wife okay um i don't know so somebody may think that you're very sexy gemini they 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 think that maybe the sex is mind-blowing with a high priestess here like there's a level of kama sutra maybe kundalini energy being awakened i don't know whomever you're dealing with it feels like you know it is um you know it's well worth it it's, it's worth it to put up with anything that you have to bring them because um the sex is off the charts you could be dealing with a, a scorpio a scorpio showing up twice um and aquarius um with the knight of cups and the judgment card uh, it looks like this relationship runs really hot and then it runs cold. And when it runs cold, it looks like it, it, it goes into cycles. Like you guys are go, doing good and then it goes into a cycle of not so good. And then it's a cycle of I'm not hearing from this person or the connection or the communication is sporadic. It's, in, you know, it's off and on. It's in and out. It's hot and cold. And it could be that this person is dating other people um, and they kind of ghost you or they leave you when things get a little too intimate, when it starts to feel kind of claustrophobic or like something is kind of clingy or somebody feels like the relationship is um, becoming like, a, you know, like imprisonment with the eight of swords at the bottom of the deck. Somebody says, you know what, I'm just gonna leave Gemini to their own devices and it kind of leaves you in a place of fear and, and upset um, because you're, you're now feeling like, okay, I, I can't do anything. I have to be passive and wait for this person to return, to reach out to me, to get it started back up again because we go in cycles, you know? Um, and when this person feels like the cycle is off or they can just walk away, then I'm waiting. And it's almost as if you are in that mental prison with the eight of swords here and that's your energy gemini so it's the nine of swords and, and you're overthinking things and you're flying off the handle and you're having restless and sleepless nights and you're feeling like you're being used and there's low energy and i mean the list goes on and on you're overthinking things you think about when he's when this person said this or they did that or what they didn't do or what they did do but maybe because the relationship just it cycles in and then it cycles out it causes you to be very confused isolated in your thoughts and have and make decisions from fear uh, and, and we all know those decisions are probably not good if you make a decision from fear versus love it seems as if maybe this person comes in and makes you fall in love with them and it seems like everything is going well and as soon as you show one flaw or you guys get too close this person is out the door but this could be you also gemini um somebody has unrealistic expectations in love also they feel like the good part the the good feelings the newness should always be there when it kind of dwindles or goes away that person goes away they don't want to deal with the realness of a connection of, of, of dealing um, Gemini, you could be a woman that lives alone, doesn't have any children. Um, you could have children, but oh, this is a woman who lives alone. Um, she's okay with being alone. Um, she, she could want partnership, um, 
but it's hard to get that from somebody who is so up and down. The cards are asking you to listen to your intuition and make some judgment call on this partnership, on this relationship, because it's driving you crazy, literally. It's, it's driving you to to a place of, you know, kind of like mental instability. Um, and it it could be because somebody is just here for sex. Um, they think you're super hot, sexy, and they could be dating other people and they're a liar, liar, you know, they would choose you, um, but it doesn't look like they are, but they will ask you for another try, you know, so the cards are just asking you to listen to your intuition, make some judgment call here. And, um, if, if it needs to be over, let it be over. Okay. Um, that's what I have for you, Gemini. If it resonates for you, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text a question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy me a coffee link. Thank you, Gemini. Many blessings to you.